Hi guys, uh, just back uh, with another, uh, this will be a short video, um, this is another one of my Vito bags, this is the TP4, um, I basically use this bag for, um, I do a lot of fencing contracts, um, and I use this bag as my mobile sort of initial bag to take to the job. Yeah, I use the DeWalt DS400 toolbox um, as my main fencing box, yeah, but it's really heavy, you know, to take the jobs sometimes, especially if it's a, you know, a far walk, you know, from the, the van to the, the actual site. So I like to use this one initially. Um, I don't treat this bag with any respect at all. Uh, fencing, by nature, is, uh, you know, it can be a really dirty job, you know, the tools take a real beating as well, so this is just full of old tools that do the job for me. Uh, so without further ado, I'll just run through what I carry in this, um, and it won't be too long, but I'll just give you an idea of what I use for my initial fencing. So if normally the, the first job in fencing is to actually demolish the old fence, um, so what I'll use is a big rough neck pry bar here, uh, this is good for you know prying things, uh, slats off if you need to, rails off if you need to. And, um, but usually I will use, uh, I've got a reciprocating saw, a DeWalt reciprocating saw, and also a DeWalt chainsaw. And saw. So nine times out of ten it's, it's better to use one of these blades. Uh, this is called the Axe from Milwaukee. It's great, it just cuts through old fences like butter. Cut the fence into manageable sections, uh, remove it from sight and get it in the back of the van in the way, you know, so. Use that. Chisel, same idea, mostly used for demolition. Um, you know, it's battering and mine rails, prying them out if, if need be. An old Stanley adjustable spanner, mainly used for taking gates off, you know, if there's any bolts to, to undo, uh, things like that. So that's basically what I use for the demolition side of things, it's not very uh, technical at all, it's usually getting about and disrupt the fence, you know, any means possible. So obviously once we've got the fence demolished, we'll, we'll mark it out, we'll mark out where the, the posts are going, uh, this, that's where the high visibility string comes in, you know, you'll you'll mark your position at one end of the run to the next end of the run, run the string line between, and then you can, you get a really straight line if you install all your posts along the line. I will have a lot of fencing videos coming up, so I can show you uh, that, that type of thing in action. Okay, so, um, I use an old Stanley Fat Max knife. <clears throat> This is primarily used for cutting the bags of postcrete or postfix open. When you lay your bag down, slash the bag, you know, to open the plastic and then empty the concrete into the holes. That's all that's used for really, uh, cutting string as well. A couple of carpenter's pencils. Yeah, just basically for marking any rails, uh, fence post tops, you know, where they need to be cut. Yeah, this is a Swanson Speed Square. Just uh, great for, you know, marking rails, get a nice straight line or 45 degree cuts, 30 degree cuts to the top of fence posts. Uh, just a great all round tool, and a great to have in the bag. Another knife, just a sharp snap off knife. Uh, same idea as this. It's used for the same thing, cutting concrete bags or string. Sharpie, just for marking wood again. There I have. These are a custom set of earplugs. Um, I got moulded to my ears and uh, produced a far better than anything else. You know, they're, they're shaped to your ear and they're great. Um, I suffer from tinnitus. Uh, I've got ringing in my left ear um, just through noise exposure over the years. So I do tend to look after my ears now. And um, these are fantastic, they're expensive, but they're really good. Um, primarily, uh, protects my ears from the noise of the nail gun. I use a DeWalt nail gun for most of my fencing, so that's where I use these. A 
couple of boxes of screws. Uh, these are the Timco decking screws. Just a small, I obviously carry a huge box of screws when I'm waiting to do the fence proper, but this is the initial setup. So I use these for if I need to fix one slat on the end, uh, for running a string line, or these are used for fixing the rails to the fence posts. Bit of a gimmick, this is a small stubby hammer. Um, just when you need a hammer, see if carrying a big hammer with me. It just fits in the mobile box. Obviously, if I need a big hammer, I just go back to the van and get my main fencing box. But this is all about mobility, yeah, this, this bag. Just a cheap pair of snips, uh, wire cutters, sorry, cable cutters. Um, normally, if there's any straining wire or chicken wire on, on the old fence that has to come out, I'll use these, you know, just to snip the wire. Cheap set of pliers. Again, multitude of uses, you know, pulling out nails, screws. Staples, anything like that. It's a Posi 3 screwdriver. Um, this is for, I use the PZ3 screws, external grade screws to put the rails into the posts. Sometimes if you need to adjust, adjust the rail height wise, you know, when, when you stand back and look at it. As opposed to using the impact driver to get it out, it can sometimes round it off, so I usually use this just to start the, the screw off. Because it go in with a hell of a force and really tight, you know, so actually better using this just to back them out a little bit and then use the impact driver. A couple of air wedges, uh, wind bags. These are used for if I've got any uh, gates I need to adjust. I get called out to a lot of that sort of thing, you know, adjusting gates up and down. Um, these are handy just to slip under the gate. Yeah, so these are handy for slipping under gates. Uh, the gate will sit on there and then you know, obviously squeeze this and it pumps the bag up um, and these lift a hell of a weight you know um, this will lift the gate up till you get it in position and then you can readjust the, the hinges if need be to, to deflate the bag once you're finished just press this button you know down it goes these are you know they're worth a weight in gold you know when you're when you're doing gates especially when you're working alone you know um no brilliant in the pouch Set of Posi 3 bits uh, from Impact Driver for putting the rails in, as I showed you, showed you earlier. And just a packet of PZ2, Posi 2 uh, for the, the Timco screws. Now, when you're doing fencing, you do tend to wear out the bits quite a lot. Um, just with the, you know, the hard, the tough nature of the job, you know, the tools take a right beating. Uh, tips are no exception, you know, so always have to carry those. Uh, just on the side, just a, it's a cheap Tylon Stanley tape. Um, I say good tapes. I normally use the auto locking version, but for fencing, I tend to, as I say, my tools get treated like uh, dirt, to be honest. But it's functional, uh, it does the job. Uh, put that in there. So that's it, really. That's a TP4. What I use it for. Um, just a great little bag just to carry initially onto site instead of humping the the big DS400 box. Um, I don't think I would buy a TP4 you know just for fencing or what I have set up for. I actually bought this uh, to try it out for electrical or plumbing uh, but I didn't like it for that. Um, so basically you got uh, <laughs> moved into this, this category. Uh, my business is all about efficiency. Uh, I do multiple different tasks in you know, a different job so I try to be efficient in everything I do so having tools set up for different tasks plumbing electrical fencing painting you know tiling everything like that I've got separate outfits for every single uh, trade if you like which if you watch some more of my videos I'll, I'll go into more depth uh, on that and efficiency of it uh, but anyway I hope that gives you an idea of what I carry in this bag what it can be used for um, As always, like, subscribe, leave a comment uh, if you wish. If you want to see any specific videos from me, uh, please leave it in the comment, and I'll be happy to, to look at that. Okay, thanks again, guys. Cheers.